According to the internet, it's from 1980. Whoa. They can do that on a 5200? They can do that on a 5200? Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where I'm playing every Atari 5200 game in order of release. And today we got four games. We got Zaxxon, we got Zenji, uh, Zone Ranger, and Ball Blazer. And our first game is Zaxxon, and this came out in 1984. Official Sega arcade game. Okay. Uh, the official computer classic version of Sega's blah, 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 blah. Nerve rattling sound effects include deadly Zaxxon robot encounter. Zaxxon thrusts you into the depths of outer space. Test your pilot skills as you strap into the command position. Prepare for an action packed challenge of space survival. Score points as you dive, climb, swoop down to destroy enemy floating fortresses. Dodge deadly laser barriers, enemy missiles, and rapid gunfire. Destroy enemy fuel tanks, and your own supply is replenished. Survive the enemy's fighter fleet attack and face the ultimate challenge the powerful armored Zaxxon robot. And Zaxxon is a trademark. A Sega, Atari, and 5200. Why is there a Paramount logo? It doesn't mention Paramount anywhere on there. That's obviously not a screenshot. Let's play it. Why does Paramount have anything to do with this? Okay, I'm confused. Anyway, let's play it. And I'm dead already. A game where you have to use isometric views and know what the height of everything is. Uh, my brain doesn't work this way. Very impressive though. Uh, with the isometric view and the up and down and the what's nots and the who's it's. I am the mighty Zaxxon of Paramount. Fear my mighty pew pew. Where'd all the isometric coolness go? Now it's just a weird angled shooter. There we go. We're back in the cool graphic mode. Oh. Game over. We didn't even get to see the cool robot. Zaxxon. Graphics. Uh, they're pretty cool. I'll give them seven and a half there. Sound. Five. Music. There really is none. Story. Don't really have, see a story there. Controls. And it's a little getting used to going up and down, but they're fine. Funness, a uh, five. Does it hold my attention? A four and a half. And overall, we're going to give it a, uh, we'll give it a six. That was Zaxxon on the 5200. Let's see what's next. In keeping with our Z theme today, our next game is called Zenji. And the box art looks like this. Zenji, he's got eyes, he's got a finger, and he's got bubbles by Matthew Hubbard. And I don't have the back of the box for this one, so let's get into this weird game. Game one, zero faces four. Turn the maze green by connecting paths to the source. Okay. Ooh, know what now? Okay, there's some rotation. Um, I did it. Somehow. Without knowing what I was doing. Uh, mm. that, that was easy. I died. Okay. 
guess you just go to these things and rotate them and make it all green. Controls are really weird, though. Like, like, can I rotate this one? I can't rotate anything all of a sudden. I don't know. Even if I figured it out, I don't think I like it. Graphics, not too great. Three, sound, not a lot going on there. Music, it's there, but it's kind of annoying. A two, story, uh, there's none as far as I can tell. Controls, two and a half, it's a little funky to rotate things. Funness, a one, ooh, funness, a one and a half. Does it hold my attention? A one, and overall, it's gonna get a two that was Zenji. And let's see what's next. Our next game today is called The Zone Ranger. It came out in 1984, and it might have the coolest box art for the 5200. And just get this cool looking dude in his helmet looking over there with the pink logo. Pretty sweet. Back of the box. Over 30 separate zones of indescribable danger, pitting you against the devastatingly evil minefield of destruction. Not to mention countless horrible enemies. Strike them, and they only multiply. Detonate the deadly mines that litter your cosmos, or you'll be sorry. Find an elusive, mysterious super patrol, and you'll get even. It's intense multiplayer, monthly screen action, which loosely translated simply means it's awesome fun. From Activision. Okay. Zone Ranger! Oh, it's like asteroids on steroids. Roids on roids. What's that? What's that? Some kind of weird warp. Am I just going for a high score here? Any other point to this? I am in level one, which indicates there are more levels. What? What does that countdown mean? Ooh, warp to level seven. I'm the best. I obviously wasn't le ready for level 7. Here we are. Want to be or not? Yeah, it's, it's like asteroids. But it's not just in one little screen. Mission terminated. Well, that was pretty neat. Uh, graphics aren't anything too special, but they're not bad. We'll give them a five sound, five and a half music. There really is none. Story, uh, 0.5. I didn't really see a story going on there. Controls, we'll give those an eight. Funness, I uh, give that a seven. Does it hold my attention? Uh, six, and overall, we're going to give it a five. That was a pretty good little shooter game. If you like asteroids, it's more intense. And that was Zone Ranger by Activision on the 5200. Let's see what the last game of the day is. Our last game today is called Ball Blazer, and it came out in 1986. Apparently nothing came out in 1985, as far as I can see from my database. Uh, this is Ball Blazer, and it's from Atari and Lucasfilm. Okay, it's a crappy box art there. I mean, the middle part's okay, but weird design. You've seen now the back of the box is better than the front of the box. That doesn't happen. You've never met an opponent like this. This one's as fast as you are, as tough as you are, and hates to lose even worse than you do because Ball Blazer is a two-player video sport. You each have your own panoramic view from your own competition, Rotofoil. But there's only one ball and only one winner. Uh, okay. And Ball Blazer, two-player 3D video sport, one-player practice modes, and music that really rocks. Atari Lucasfilm. Okay, and yes, the copyright says 1984, but according to the internet, it's from 1980. Whoa, they can do that on a 5200? They can do that on a 5200? What? 
so confused. I think this game originally was from 1984, but this version was ported in 86. But apparently the year between the last game we played in 84 and this one, they kind of figured out how to do some neat tricks on the 5200. And yes, it's a two-player game, so not much I can do here, but... I think I'm on the one... Yeah, I'm the one on the top. It's fast, too, man. Like, you move through this grid thing fast. Of course, I can't do anything, because it's... You know... Not a one-player game, but... Wow. Neat. All right. Graphics. Uh, we're going to give graphics uh, a 9. And sound... Sound was okay, four and a half. Music, music was pretty darn cool. I'm gonna give that a ten. Uh, story, there is none. Controls, it's just buttery smooth and fast. Uh, funness, even if I had two players, it doesn't seem like the funnest game in the world. So I'm gonna give that a three. It doesn't hold my attention, mostly for the technical aspects. And overall, I'm gonna give it. Um, well, that's a tricky one. Let's give it an eight. I'm just impressed with that all around. Go 1986. All right. Uh, that was the last game of the day, so thanks for watching. There's only two games left for the 5200, and we'll see you then.